So a lot of answers. Almost half of you said A, bulb 2 and the wire have the same voltage difference across them. And if I connect a wire to the right-hand side of that bulb and another wire and the other end of the wire to the left-hand side, that is exactly a parallel connection. When one end of two things are, wound, are connected and the other ends of two things are connected, then they absolutely have to have the same voltage across them. And so that's the definition, basically, of a parallel connection. Once I do that, I put a bare wire in parallel with that, with that uh, resistor, with that bulb. So that's what I was looking for was A. That's actually the only thing you know for sure. Because they're a parallel connection, that is absolutely true. Yeah? So, so I, I'm not surprised that it's a little bit confusing. This is actually called an electrical short. What happens when you short something is that you put a bare wire across, connect it across another circuit element so that the two have to have the same voltage so that they're in parallel, so that they have to have the same voltage difference. Then the question is what happens and And so the next question or two gets at that. So maybe I should ask the next question or two and then see how you feel about it. Two bulbs are connected in series as shown to the right. So we already decided they have the, the, this wire and that bulb have the same voltage difference across them. Suppose a wire is connected across one of the bulbs as shown. The wire that is connected across this bulb definitely, in other words, you know for sure, carries negligible current has a negligible voltage difference across it, has both, none, or dope. And, and I just want to remind you that for electrical circuit questions, we take wires connecting circuit elements as, as to have essentially negligible resistance. 